Welcome back to another Scribus tutorial. In this video, we'll be learning about master pages, how to create them, how to apply them, and how to use them. So a master page is like a template for our document. If we have a certain page, like a good example is, let's go to new from template, and let's just bring up one of these, like this six by nine book, and I'll hit okay. This is just a template of a, of a book that we can scroll down and look at. But certain pages get repeated several times. So for example, this page that has the chapter, the chapter heading, for every chapter we want that looks the same. So chapter two, chapter three, epilogue, like these are all, this could be a master page and I don't think it is in this case. But also every page has a, a page num number centered at the bottom of the page, uh, like we learned in the last tutorial how to create that. And then it also has, look, this author's name at the top and then book title at the top. So every left page that has a chapter in it says author's name at the top and on every right page it says book title at the top. So if we want to edit that all together, if we just double click we can go in and, and uh, oh actually we can't change it because it is part of a master page. And so we need to edit this on the master page. So to view what master pages are in use in this document, we just go to edit and then we go down to master pages. And so this shows us all the different master pages we have and an example of that master page. So see, we're not in our document anymore. We're just looking at a single page and it's the master page. So we're looking at the interior left master page right now. If we wanna look at just the normal interior, uh, the normal left page, it looks like this. The normal right page looks like this. You see it's slightly different because the margin is in a different location. And that's just because of the book binding. The left page has a little extra space here towards the right of it to allow for the book binding because when a book is bound or it's glued or sewn together, you lose a little bit of space off of that. So this margin is set up for the type of binding that it's doing so that, it'll, so that it won't make the, the text and the objects will still appear centered on the page. And then the interior right interior left pages have the same thing. They're offset a little bit according to left or right, but they also have a page number at the bottom. And then the right page says book title, the left page says author name. So if we want to change the author name, we can come in here and just erase author name and type in TJ free. And now that will apply if we go back to return to normal page mode. Now if we look at those pages, any page that's using that master page will say TJ free at the top of it now. See that? And then the page numbering um, happens also. So if we want to create our own, we can go back in here, go back to edit, and we go to master pages, and we can create a new master page by clicking up here. And we can call it, um, let's call this, what should we create? Image or picture, we'll call it picture page. And we'll say okay. So picture page right now has nothing on it. Oh, but it's a, it's the default it used was the, a left page. So we could have made it a right page too, but we'll just have it be a left page. So we see the margin is different, but this is a left picture page. And then we'll click on a picture frame and we'll just have uh, a picture here and we'll go picture frame again we'll have another picture here and then maybe we want some text to be under these pictures so we'll insert a text frame and a text frame and maybe we want a page number at the bottom so we'll do another text frame at the bottom and we'll want to kind of match what they were doing here in fact we can just come click on this and go control C and then go to picture frames so we won't do our own text frame and we'll just go control V so now it has a, a page number as well so as a page number, some images. So great, if we go to return to normal editing and we scroll down to the end of this book, we can actually add in a new page. We go to page insert and it lets us choose what master page do we wanna do. If we just say normal left and right, it'll be a blank page at the end of the document. But if we delete this page, we go to delete. If we uh, scroll back down, and now if we wanna add in that one that we just did, we go to page insert and the left page we want to insert, let's do a picture page. And we're just inserting one page. So we say OK. And now it's inserted a picture page here, the one that we created. It has the page number, page 24, which is perfect because the page before it was page 23. And we see we have these pictures here. Um, just be aware that you can mess up things if you don't set up your pages properly. Like we only created a left page. So if we go to page, insert, and we have our right page, be our, uh, 
Oh, oh, actually, it won't let us do it. It knows it's a left page. So we can't have our right page be the, the left because we didn't set up a right page for it. So that's good. I thought we might be able to mess that up, but we can't. And then if we insert, if we want to insert six more pages and we want the left page of all those to be the picture page and the right page of all those to be an interior right page and click OK. So look what it does. We have this book title at top with a page number at the bottom. All the left pages are our picture page. All the right pages are uh, our are, are, uh, interior right page. So I hope you understand what's happening here. Um, I showed you how to create. We can go to and create our own master pages. We can also delete certain master pages if we wanted to, but we probably don't want to. And then anything we edit in the master page, like the book title, will get edited on every page of our document that's using that master page. So go ahead and play with master pages, learn how to use them. Different document templates that you download or import or start using might have their own master pages. But if we just start a brand new document, uh, by default, it only has two master pages, or actually just one. If you, if you don't have any different margins, it'll have one. And if you have different margins, it'll have one for each uh, left and right page. So I appreciate you watching this video. I hope that was kind of clear. I felt like I kind of ran through that a little bit. Maybe it's a little bit muddy, but go ahead and ask questions, comment below, and maybe this will make sense as we use it more in future tutorials as well. Catch you in the next one.